Hi all, welcome to our semi design channel. I'm here back with one more video on system error lock constraint. Let's see a pattern generation question. We have already done a part one of the series where I have given an approach to solve the similar type of question. If you haven't watched that video yet, please do watch and come back to this video for clear understanding. So let us begin with today's video. Write a system error lock constraint to generate the following pattern. So observe the pattern with me that is 5, minus 10, 15, minus 20, 25 and so on. So here in this pattern it is like it has multiples of 5 and alternatively with some negative values right. So the takeaway from the video is pattern generation coding and the other one is basic system error concepts. So let us see so for suppose we want to generate the same pattern. I am using an array to generate the same pattern. So the array has to be declared with some data type, right? Either it should be int, byte, logic, anything, right? So let us see. Now we have negative values in this pattern. So it means that you have to concentrate on signed data types, right? So the signed data types in the system very log are int, byte, all these are signed data types by default. So for example, if we use the int as a uh, type of that particular array, then what would be the result? And byte, if we are using, what would be the result? All this we will try to demonstrate to the code and check whether it is working or not. So declaring the same data types such as uh, int and byte with by following with an unsigned keyword. For suppose you are making the data type as an unsigned data type, then what would be the result? So let us demonstrate all this through the code. Let us see the code. By now, you should be familiar with the class and module declarations. So, if you have any queries, please do watch the previous videos. So, here the other main focus is to see the constraint, right? In the constraint, in the, what we are doing basically, uh, we have the multiples of five in the pattern, and uh, they are having a negative values alternatively, right? Uh, so, it means that even indices we have a positive values, and the otherwise we have negative values. The same thing we are writing in the code. If i mod 2 is 0, the array of i value is i into 5 plus 5 and otherwise minus of uh, with the same logic, right? So this will fetch our pattern. So with this long, let us try to see whether it is working or not. So the other thing what we are, have decided to discuss is that about the data types, right? So now this logic we are trying it to do with the int data type. So it is a by default sign data type. So in order to store this negative value also, it should support. So let us save the code and run and let's see the output. Okay. Yes, it is working. Right? Now let us try the same code with byte data type. is working right there is no issue then now may let us make this as unsigned data type and try the same code so this we are doing in order to check whether the negative values and the data type compatibility basically see here it is like it is all zero why because the randomization itself failed if the randomization is failed we will not get any value right that's why so now let us try with Oh, it should be unsigned itself. Let, uh, let us try with the int data type. We didn't try with that, right? That's why. See, if you see with the positive values, it is proper. It is uh, constraining according to our constraint. Uh, but otherwise, the negative values, it is not doing it so because it has unsigned means unsigned can store only the positive values so that is why the negative values logic is not getting constrained this we have came to an end to the system error lock constraint series we have so many other questions like sudoku problems and arrays with uh, three cross three matrix or uh, some variations in all that some interesting questions we have so if you want to practice and improve your skills like this you can reach out to us we will provide you the guidance and one more thing is we are launching a workshop. Let me share you the details of that. That is we have 10 days workshop on functional coverage and SVA based verification, which is starting from this April 20th. If you want to be a part of this workshop, you can please reach out to us on the given number here.
and you can take a screenshot and you can reach out to us for more further details about this. Thank you.